All right guys, today I wanna to show you a brand new helmet made by a company called Basecamp. Basecamp reached out to me and asked me to review their Smart Urban Helmet. This is a brand new one that they're coming out with to cater towards people who do commuting and riding around town. And it does feature a couple of really cool options that you wouldn't find on most helmets, like rear lights that also have turn signals built into them, and a speaker system with a microphone so you can take phone calls and listen to music. Let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the details on this helmet. Now Basecamp has gone away from boxes and they've opted for a mesh bag. Their idea behind this is, is with the box, you just throw it away. But with this mesh bag, you can reuse it for all kinds of things, including storing your helmet. Now Basecamp also supplied this nice little carrying case. And this carrying case, whenever you get it and you first open it up, it's going to have your remote that you can attach to your handlebars to turn up and down the volume, pause your music, answer a phone call, and also turn the left and right turn signals on. Then also inside is going to be a spare battery, a screwdriver to change out the battery, and then also your USB cable along with an instruction manual. Now this helmet does meet the safety standard for bicycles in the US and in the EU. Now one thing that this helmet doesn't have that I do wish that they would have included since this is a brand new helmet is the MIPS protection system. Now inside the helmet, it does come with a nice amount of padding in there. So it's really comfortable whenever you put it on your head along with a nice long chin strap that comes with some extra padding also. Now in the back to tighten and loosen it, you've got a standard ratcheting wheel, which I really like to see on any helmet that I purchase. Now, since this helmet does have speakers and a light built into it, you will have to charge this every so often. And they did do the right thing and put a USB-C port on here. So any of your USB-C cables can charge this helmet. Now, whenever you power this up, you are gonna get a nice little hello that it is powered up. Now, after you hear it say Bluetooth mode, if you have paired your phone with it, it'll let you know whether or not it's been connected. Now, if you wanna turn on the rear light, you just simply hold down the button next to the power button for three seconds. Once you turn that on, it will light up this center light and these side lights are strictly for turn signals. Now, one thing that I really wish Basecamp would have done is made all of these lights actually light up. I'm not sure if they can do any type of software update on this, but it would be nice to see all of these rear lights light up. And then whenever you go to turn on your turn signal, the one that you turned on would start to flash. Now, whenever you turn the turn signals on, you will get notified by the speaker system built into this. So you'll know that your turn signal is actually on. Turn left, beware. Turn left, beware. And then whenever you click the turn signal again, it'll shut off the turn signal and also stop the announcement through the speaker system. If you don't turn this off after about 30 to 35 seconds, it'll shut the turn signal off itself. Now this remote is pretty handy. It kind of looks like a watch, like you might be able to wear it on your wrist, but the strap is just a little bit too short. Now I have found that the signal on this can be hit and miss for some things. The turn signals always work, but the up and down volume button seem to be a little bit slow sometimes to actually process. But generally what I do before I get out on my ride is I put it at the volume that I wanna to listen to my music or a podcast at, and then I don't have to change it for my entire ride. Now let's take a look at a few clips of me actually riding around with this helmet on. It's really comfortable and I think it kinda of has this futuristic look that's kinda of got this city urban vibe. So going with the smart urban helmet, I think they nailed the design of it. It looks really sleek. Now this helmet does run $90 on their website and I'll put some links below so you guys can pick one of these up if you guys are interested in it. Now, the few things that I do wish that they would have added to this helmet is again, lighting up all these lights just for your standard running lights. And then also maybe including MIPS inside this. MIPS has been around for quite a while and I just think it should be a standard feature in most bike helmets. As for the really cool things, I do love the speaker system on here. It keeps your ears open so you can hear the traffic around you. The music is a little bit tinny when it comes out of here, but really honestly, whenever you're going down the road and the wind's blowing, it's really not that big of a deal. And it is nice that I can answer phone calls whenever I'm out on the bike. I really do like the fact that this has turn signals. It just adds that little extra element of safety whenever you're going down the road. And there you go. That is the Urban Smart Helmet by Basecamp. If you guys like this video, make sure you click that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.